What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. Today we're going to go over my leg workout, the full routine. Now you saw there, I wrote down exactly what I'm going to do. This is called a Max OT Leg Workout. A pro natural bodybuilder named Jeff Willett came up with this workout program. And what I really like about it is that since it's in the 6 rep range, that it both works your strength and muscular hypertrophy. And the key to this workout is that it's very low volume overall, but high intensity. So there are only three working sets on squats, which sounds very easy, but in reality, each set is extremely hard and you're going for a PR on every set, three straight sets of the same weight. And I wanna make it clear that I didn't just randomly stumble upon this workout and just went with it. I spent years trying different tactics with regards to working legs and I've found that low frequency, just doing it once a week in the heavy weights in high intensity is by far the most efficient way to build up your legs. Another benefit to doing this rep scheme is not only do you build mass, but you build a great amount of strength and power. So this will really help convert into vertical leap, into sprinting, because you're working in that six rep range, which develops a great deal of strength and explosiveness. Now for this workout in particular, I'm not going for PR because I don't have my belt with me and I haven't done this workout in a while. Now what you'll find is when you've done this workout for let's say a month, then you get away from it. Once you come back, it is extremely hard to finish every set because it requires 100% of your strength. So you can't go into any set without all your power. Another adjustment I'm making is I'm performing the hybrid squat rather than squatting ATG. Now what this does is this makes it to where your hip flexors are much more incorporated because once you squat all the way down, your hip flexors get deactivated as you reach the bottom and you bounce out of the bottom. So what's difficult for me now is my hips are extremely sore because going just below parallel keeps those hip flexors active and it really puts a lot of pressure on them to build them up, which is obviously better for the long run but just makes you really sore getting used to it. And you can see in this video that I'm not really sitting back as much as I should be because I am used to that more vertical torso position in the Olympic squat. Once I get my powerlifting belt and some flat shoes, it'll be a lot easier to sit back. And that is something that people ask me very often. I prefer flat shoes for squatting slightly below parallel. I only prefer a heeled shoe when performing a full Olympic squat because a heel will give you the tendency to let your knees come forward and that can be a bit too much when trying to sit back into the hybrid squat. You probably have already seen this set. Click on the annotation if you haven't checked out that video yet. It was the last set of this workout. I was going for six reps and I only get five. I included it in this video also just to show you that you shouldn't be afraid of missing a rep. If you have the safety pin set at the right height, it is very easy to fail a squat and there's nothing to fear. It is important to note that you don't want to fail very frequently in these workouts. So after this workout, I will do the exact same weight and just get all three sets before moving on to a heavier weight. By the way, when I make my six week program for you guys, it is going to be periodized. So it won't be like this leg routine where it's just straight sets and then you constantly keep the same intensity and increase the weight. Periodization means you change up the intensity, change up the rep schemes to avoid plateauing. However, chances are you can gain way more strength doing this method right now and then once you finally hit a wall, then you need to change it up. But people really underestimate how far they can go on a basic routine like this. When I first used this routine, over the course of about 6 to 8 months, my squat max went from 395 to 465. So don't think that this is for beginners only or any of that because this is extremely effective 
and is why I still constantly will go back to this routine until I hit a wall. Another thing I forgot to mention during the warm up sets is that you want to warm up as efficiently as possible. Now what this means is that you don't want to be doing a lot of high rep sets, high volume sets. What you want is efficient, low rep warm ups. So for example, on 135, instead of doing 20 reps, do 5, do 8, somewhere in that range. And then as you work your way up, lower the reps. So when you saw me warming up for squat, you saw me I did 405 for 1 just to prepare for 415. That's really important because a lot of people burn themselves out on the warm-up sets and then they don't have that strength that you are going to need for this workout on the working sets. As you can see from my working sets on deadlifts, I only went up to 430. I didn't want to go too hard because once again I didn't have my belt with me and especially on deadlifts, I didn't really know how that was going to affect me. Also I know a lot of people will be surprised that this workout is just two exercises. But the reality is that squats are the best exercise for overall leg development and especially your quads. And then deadlifts hit everything that squats don't emphasize and that's your posterior chain. After that there's no need to do any hamstring curls, leg presses, all of those are just inferior exercises to achieve the same goal. So that's it guys, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give this video a like to help the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Peace.